What is up, you lovely lot? Welcome back to the channel. It's two pound coin hunt time, and I'm excited about this one, and here is why. We've got ourselves a bag all the way from Glasgow somehow, and it's a sealed bag, so pretty exciting. What are we looking for? Well, any picture coins. If you don't know the one we're stuck on, you're obviously new around here, so let's open the book up and have a look just for you. It is the Commonwealth Games England. All the rest we've got, we've got Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Would be great to find any of those again though, it's been a while. And um, yeah, all the rest we've had for a long, long, long time. It'd still be nice to find some of these undergrounds, it's been a while. Great Fire of London, Magna Carta, always great to find. And we've only found one territory, I think, in this whole series, so maybe it's our time for a territory. A couple of minor errors at the back and a page of fakery. Let's do it, I'm excited. So excited, I can't even use the scissors properly. Okay, sealed bags, two pound coins. Not very often we get to do this. There's a find in the first bag, the DNA double helix. It's a pretty common one. Sometimes I keep them if they're nice. The stack of them that I've got is growing though, so unless they're really, really nice, we won't be keeping them anymore, I don't think. There's the VE Day, VE Day 60 year anniversary. The most common of all the commemorative two pound coins. you are always gonna find one or two of those in a hunt for sure. A couple in the first bag. Let's hope it continues. You just never know what you might be able to get your hands on in these sealed bags. People cashing in collections off they go to the cash center and bagged up. That's the hope anyway. <laughs> There's our first keeper. The skull of Shakespeare tragedies or the skull and rose. And with this one, you do always have to check the edge inscription in case it's got that error, this one is the correct one. What a piece of work is a man. We're yet to find one yet, but we will. We will find one. <laughs> We're yet to find one of those. We're yet to find the flag error on the Navy Centenary. There's Trevithick's steam locomotive. It's another fairly common one. It's a cool design though, I think. up there and a Shakespeare comedies as well these are much more prevalent up north and up in Scotland so Glasgow bag is to be expected I guess I still get happy finding these even though the mintage is pretty high and we still keep them and still consider them above face value for now that might change because I'm sure there's gonna be a huge influx of all of the Shakespeare's into circulation there's another tragedies. What a piece of work is a man. We don't mind finding those though. We'll stack them up for now. Another DNA double helix. That one is pretty nice. How's the obverse looking? It's a little bit scratched up. That can go back to the bank. I hope you're all doing well. Really hopeful we might have a good hunt here with this lot. Our 50p luck has been immense the last couple of hunts. Um, can we transfer that to these sealed bags of two pounds? Hopefully. Here we go. There's an abolition of the slave trade. This is obviously the circulated version with the rough finish in the background there. It is always worth keeping an eye out for the one that's come out of a set. There's Brunel's arches. Another pretty common one. Lots in this bag. Charles Dickens as well. Again, that's a top row common find. There's the first bimetallic commemorative two pound. The 1999 Rugby World Cup. Cool design again, um, but again, pretty common. Let's keep going. Lots of finds so far. And there's another comedies. Don't mind that at all. Here's Lord Kitchener. Well, we're back. Apologies, guys. Schoolboy error. Completely forgot to delete old footage off of the memory card. So, started recording. Got a couple of minutes in and it crashed. But there we go. That's fixed and we're back. 
back to this bag that we were on. Lord Kitchener, the 2014. Again, always got to check for that mule coin. Make sure it's got two pounds on the obverse. Is a common find. Well, let's keep going. Suddenly the recording stopped and I was like, hang on a second, what have I done? Or what haven't I done more like? <laughs> Sorry about that abrupt cut. It's quite a nice 1999 there. Shame about that scratch on the Queen's face. And that is a shame because it is pretty nice otherwise. There's Charles Darwin, or Dickens even. Oh, have I ever done that before? I'm not sure I have, I have now. <laughs> Mixing up the Charleses. Every coin tuber has to do it at least once. That is Charles Dickens, the author. Not Charles Darwin, the theory of evolution. Here we go, there's Trinity House from 2014. Again, that's a fairly common one. And there we go, all Shakespeare coins found. The whole set of three completed. Shakespeare histories. This is the highest mintage, and it seems to be the one that we do find the most. And we don't quite consider that one a keeper. The other two, I'm still keeping for now. But the stacks of them that I do have are growing a fair bit. <laughs> Not so much the comedies. Nice! This is what we want to see. Magna Carta, and it is in pretty nice condition as well. What a find, you do not see many of these anymore. Like a lot of the more scarce coins, very tough to find. Beauty, star find for sure. Pop that all the way down there. A few more of those please. Been a while since we've seen one a few episodes back i think we found one maybe five six episodes back on the two pound hunts uh, but being a 2015 release it's not that old especially considering they were well they are still releasing 2016 coins now from the long store okay let's keep going what other goodies have we got? Another Brunel, but this is Brunel's portrait this time, not the arches. We'll pop it there under the achievements. And here we go, another Shakespeare comedies. Proven that they are getting about a bit more, but to be expected from a Glasgow bag for sure. Lovely. Keep on going. Another Shakespeare Histories. And a Florence Nightingale. From 2010. Come on. Oh, nice. Robert Burns. It's a low tier keeper, but it's still a keeper. And it's one of those that we used to find quite often, but even these now becoming a bit tougher to find. Gunpowder Plot from 2005. Haven't seen that yet today. We're finding lots and lots of variety. Most of the more common ones already on the table. How many different designs? can we find? Another DNA. Three of those already. And another Robert Burns. Nice. As I said, low tier keeper, not worth a huge amount. Definitely becoming more scarce, I think. Some shiny ones in here. There's another Charles Dickens, and that is shiny for a Charles Dickens.
Hmm. Might have a closer look at that one afterwards. Almost seems to be a kind of an outline around the queen. I don't know if it's just a worn die. I'll have a close look afterwards. There's another one. There's some very shiny ones in here. Look like a technology is one of them. I will of course go through and check all of the technologies for die rotations afterwards. And there's another Shakespeare Histories. One, two, three, four, five, still six bags to go. Lots of different stuff on the table. And there's another keeper. It's another one of those low tier keepers, a golden guinea. Not worth a massive amount. Got two chain pans for slightly over face value. A grimy one. Another act for the abolition of the slave trade. 200 years, minted in 2007. Magna Carta, definitely looking like the star find, certainly so far. There's another Shakespeare histories. Tons and tons of the Shakespeare's around. Up in Scotland by the look of it. There's another Trinity House. Last couple of bags. Come on, the Commonwealths. There's another comedies though, we don't mind that. More comedies than tragedies today. Oh, <laughs> there's another tragedies though. And it gives us another shot at this edge inscription error. That is the correct one again. Unfortunately, we keep on looking. <laughs> ah, nice. Lovely one to finish on. I mean, we were finding tons of these a year ago, something like that. But now, getting much, much more scarce. It's just a great design as well, isn't it? So eye-catching. Very, very cool. The Great Fire of London from 2016. Lovely stuff. Pop that down there with the Magna Carta. Two beauties. Anything else in this last bag? Marconi's Transatlantic Wireless Transmission. Again, that's one we haven't seen yet today. So adding on to the tally of different designs found. That's a lot though. How many designs in total? Five, nine, 14, We've already got that it's there, isn't it? 14, 18, 20. 20 different designs. Not bad at all. And a couple of absolute beauties in the Magna Carta and the Great Fire of London. Definitely, definitely top finds of the hunt. Awesome stuff. No Commonwealths, but I think definitely better luck in general uh, than the unsealed bags. Lovely stuff. Drop us a thumbs up if you're be so kind. It really does help the channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, of course. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time for some more coiny goodness. We're going to keep on going. We're going to find this Commonwealth. We're going to find a flag error, and we're going to find the edge error as well for the, the tragedies. We're going to find them all, I promise. <laughs> we won't stop till we do. See you later. Take care.